Hey guys, what's up? This is Luke and today I'm going to be talking about building an ecosystem of positive emotions. The other day I heard one speaker talk about ecosystem of emotions and I thought what a brilliant idea and that's basically what it is. We carry around this ecosystem that has some momentum. It's not certainly that we change our total emotional state and we go from absolute ecstasy uh, for a month to absolute depression for two months. We have some sort of a momentum and some sort of ecosystem. I think of it a little bit like to be super simple, like those cartoons in Looney Tunes. Uh, you have those stars going around someone's head when you hit them. That's basically what it is, but bigger, wider. And there's all kinds of emotions like uh, that you uh, experience on a regular basis. Like you can have anger, you can have happiness, you can have sadness. You can have excitement, you can have uh, energy uh, and all kinds of emotions. And I found that you can really set your ecosystem to what you want, but it actually takes effort. And if you exercise, for example, on a regular basis, it can be first just walking. And then if you sweat and uh, bring your heart rate to 190 BPM or whatever, based on your age, of course, if you are 65 years old, you shouldn't go that high, maybe uh, and there's a range. But if you uh, do go into total overdrive for a couple of minutes, at least, but you do it every single day, you do saunas and ice plunges every day, you do a cathartic writing, you do meditations, you do all kinds of practices that elevate your mood and uh, clear your head and uh, create certain states and you create those states every single week on a regular basis. That's basically building your emo uh, emotional ecosystem. And uh, I think this can be really a course that uh, I would pay 200 bucks uh, if someone taught me this when I was young and if I actually did it and uh, stuck to it because that's the problem with self-help that uh, there's lots of things that work most of it works that is like evergreen but the problem is that we don't do it we read the book we maybe write some goals down but we entertain it in the head but we don't practice it with the body and practice it on a regular basis because that's where the results come from results come from from uh, you doing it every day and that's how you get certain outcomes so yeah i recommend you to uh, exercise and do certain certain uh, activities that bring you joy and uh, put it in your calendar put it three times four times a week five times a week whatever your calendar allows you and you'll be surprised that your whole ecosystem of emotions changes